God. So what the heck made you want to apply for this show? Um, so basically I didn't really want to apply for it. My sister did. My sister was the one really pushing me to apply because I just moved up to the Gold Coast from Country Vic. Um, and I was probably being up there for six months and I just got a job, like a really good job that I wanted. And I was loving life up there. Like I absolutely love the Gold Coast here. Um, and she's just like, you know, why don't you apply? And I'm like, cause I'm really content with life right now. I've just moved from country Vic to a Gold Coast town like imagine a country boy in you know burly heads like it's <laughs> ridiculous the the Sheilas and just the whole atmosphere it's crazy the Sheilas you're so country <laughs> so I was just like I love this place like I don't really want to do it and she's just like we'll just give it a go and I was down for the Easter weekend so it was April I moved up in January went back for um, Easter to catch up with family and she basically helped me do the um, application was it a big it is Fat a boy. big process, yeah, yeah it's I a lot imagine. to it. Um, and we got up to me having to do like a video and um, I was like, no, nah, not happening. So I caught my flight home back to the Gold Coast and was like, I'm not finishing my application. And then my sister was probably every couple of days sending me a message, do your video, like have you done your video? And one of these times she sent me the message, I just knocked off work and I was in my tradie gear and that. And I'm like, oh, you've caught me at the best but worst time. Like, yeah. I'll quickly go throw a shirt on and I'll do this video. So I chucked a shirt on, did my video. What did you say in through. the video? They basically just give you prompt questions on, um, you know, like what's your f- like type of woman? Like what's your favourite like um, personality traits? What's your favourite like uh, look traits? Um, tell us a bit about yourself. Like tell us a bit about your sex life. Like they just sort of want you to basically just like open up a bit and basically just, yeah, like give it balls to the wall sort of thing. Like let them really know that like this is why I'm a great candidate for Love Island, like all that sort of stuff. Basically just pump your own tyres up and tell them what you like about the opposite sex really. Yeah. Damn. So you did this fully just being like, I'm just doing this to please my sister. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> all right, I'll just quickly smash this video together. I sent it to her and it was like, this is what I sent in. She's like, yep, sweet. That'll do. Um, did the application. Obviously that was like right at the end. Um, then a couple of weeks later, got an email. It was like, we love what we see. Um, we'd love you to come in and meet the producers. Um, <laughs> you know, can you when, book in an appointment sort of thing? Yeah. When you got that email, were you like, sorry, what? Yeah. I was just like, surely not. So I like <laughs> straight away rang my sister. Like you wouldn't believe it. She's like, what? And I'm like, oh, I just got an email. I'm going in to meet the producers like for this thing, like to go the next day. She's like, that's awesome. Um, Long story short, I went in there, it was in Brizzy, I knocked off work and just went over there and it said like, you know, bring like smart dating, like casual and like all these things and I just finished work so I just brought like a a plain (laughs) tea like I'm wearing today and I was like, they're just going to look at me and laugh like and the main thing that made me think that is because I walked in and Callum was the one before me so we had back to back together so I walked in and Callum's in there with his eyebrows done, his hair perfect. He's in like teeth. this, yeah, he's in like <laughs> nice shiny teeth and he's in this really like, you know, have you seen like his, his stuff he wears, his UK style? Oh. Like what? Callum's got like a whole different style. So oh, was, okay. Yeah, like it's just like a you really UK vibe. UK style compared to me. <laughs> so I rocked in there and just went, not a chance I'm getting on this show. Like look at this geezer I've just walked in on. He's gone in and like his accent and that and he went in there, did his bit. I went in there, did my bit, rang my sister and I said, there's no chance I'm getting on this. Like you should have seen who I was up against. (laughs) Yeah, but you were up against like the premium of premium. (laughs) Yeah, but like for me, like I've never done any of this. I've never watched it. I was just like, is everyone like this? I don't know that goes on this show. Um, Anyway, a couple weeks or whatever went by and I get a call and it's like, yep, we love what we've seen. We want you to do, you know, some medicals, some psych tests, just some background tests basically to make sure you're not a psycho. (laughs) (laughs) They're not putting just some psycho in there. Oh, my God. Yeah, did all those tests and then that's when I got a phone call off um, the main producer one day and he's just like, hey, how you going? I'm like, yeah, good. And he's like, do you know who this is? I'm like, nah. I'm just like, you're going to Spain. I was like, what? (laughs) He's like, oh, I just got this new job. Like, I don't know. And he goes, Jordan. You're going to Spain. Do you know the opportunity you've just got? Don't say if, buts or maybes, only absolutes. <laughs> Don't thousands of people apply? Yeah, I think they get heaps. I th- yeah, I can imagine that they yeah. get heaps. Because I think Love Island is one of the biggest watched reality TV shows. Yeah, like the UK is massive. And then for Australia, it's probably up there is like the biggest for sure. Maths is very big too, but it's like way different to like Love Island. It's like yeah. Maths is like very drama field and like, like crazy yeah mm, maths eh. yeah. <laughs> Love Island. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so when you got that call what was going through your head it was just like 
I don't know. It was sort of like, it's hard to explain. I just like, obviously like in disbelief, but at the same time, it's just like, whoa, like, is this happening? Like, it's just whoa. so much disbelief. And then you sort of got to change your mindset from whoa to like, okay, like, what do we got to do here? And when he called me, he's like, oh, we're flying you out in four weeks. So you got a month. You only had a month. Yeah. So I was like, holy. And I was like, I hadn't trained because <laughs> like talking to the boys now, like when they started the applications, they were in the gym, they were dieting, like they were there. But for me, in my head, I never thought I was getting on. I was just doing it just as like, whatever, like if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Like yeah. whatever, I'm not that fussed. So I never like trained. And then I thought when he gave me the call, I'm like, okay, so I got four weeks to get my like body TV <laughs> ready and it was, it was not in any sort of shape to go on TV. So I was just like, oh, well, there's no, no chance of turning this thing around. So I just went in there as it was. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. We love that. A lot more yeah. real. Yeah, exactly. So it is what <laughs> it is. Crazy. You get what you get. You get what you get. Okay. And then could you tell anybody about it? No. You weren't meant to tell anyone. I told my best mate, my mum and dad and my sister, obviously. Yep. And that's it. So luckily for me, my... I was working in the mine, so I was doing FIFO. So I told everyone that I was going to do like a long stint, like a six <laughs> week stint in the mines, and I was going to a remote area with no reception. Nice. So, Actually, so that for works me, so it well. worked so well where yeah. some of the other people just went full rogue and people were like, what the hell's going on? Others had to like make up the most bullshit stories of why they're going away. Oh, I'm going traveling, but I'm not going to have any reception or I didn't buy a sim or whatever. Like, it was, yeah, it was hard <laughs> because like, I think Love Island knew that you'd have to tell a lot of close people because, like, if you were renting, like, say, with a couple of friends, like, you're going to have to tell them because you can't just disappear for, you know, six weeks and they're going to start getting worried, they're going to make calls, blah, 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 all that yeah. stuff. So they understand you've got to tell very close people, but you can't go and make a status on Instagram or Facebook and, you know, and be like, hey, I'm going on Love Island this year because obviously that ruins the surprise and all that sort of stuff and we have to sign confidelity stuff. Confidelity. Oh, no, com what is it? Confidel Confidentiality. Confidentiality. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. One. 